Hello, and welcome to the Book Marketing Simplified Podcast. I'm Jen Hansen DePaula. And I'm Marcus DePaula. And Jen, we have another question that you've been getting a lot, and that is, what should my expectations be once my book is launched? Every author who is releasing a book has put so much time, money, and energy into actually writing the book. And so much focus is put on the release. And of course, we want to have a successful release, but... The expectation is, or the mindset that many authors have, is that once the book is out, their hands are off of it. Right. And they've done what they need to do. They've gotten it out into the world. That's that. But what I really want to challenge authors to think about and to focus on is, yes, you do want to have a successful launch, but not just concentrating all of your energy on that one time frame. We need to focus on at least one to two years in order to really see those sales continue to come in and to see that momentum continue on with the sales of our book. And then along with that, there is that expectation sometimes that the book sales will just continue flowing in. But the reality is because you put so much energy into that release, there's going to be a bunch of sales right at the beginning And so we need to expect it to kind of trail off. But that doesn't mean that we need to get discouraged. It is going to be a peak, then a valley, then a peak, then a valley. It goes up and down. And you can definitely see when you have promotions and when you're kind of letting things rest a little bit and going up and going down. And that is definitely to be expected. And it's something to, again, if we kind of have the mindset of, okay, I am going to be really focusing in and creating plans on a couple of years of marketing. It is going to go up and down. It does not mean that all hope is lost if sales go down a bit. And if you're in the middle of a launch, obviously it's really hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel and see past that. So we're not saying that you have to have all your ducks in a row for two years forward. No, no. And that's something that can be very, very overwhelming. I even feel overwhelmed trying to plan out six months of promotions or even a year of promotions. So what I always encourage authors to do is to take it in three-month chunks. So instead of looking at this as this two-year stretch, go look at three months and plan accordingly. And it's not having to do 20 different things. Pick two or three things that you feel good about, that energize you, that you are excited to try marketing-wise, but don't feel like you have to do everything all in one time frame. Spread it out. And this is one of the benefits of also thinking about, okay, I have a year or two years to kind of plan out all Mm -hmm. of these things. So if you are limited on time, and you don't even have time to focus on three things, focus on one thing and do that really well and then move on to the next thing. And obviously with all this energy and excitement we put into the release of the book, our expectations are a ton of book sales. And the reality is that for some authors, that just doesn't happen. There is a lot of excitement around the release and we have these expectations. And if they fall short It can be very disappointing, and it's not to be Debbie Downer by any means, Mm -hmm. but sometimes that happens. And sometimes they sell way more than what we had expected, and that's awesome. But if you don't hit those initial sales goals, all is not lost by any means. And I have a story about this. So this exact thing happened with a client of mine several years ago. He actually had a very extensive and very prominent audience that he was able to tap into. He had famous people that were endorsing his book and he had press and he had all of this stuff. And he was completely convinced that he was going to end up on the New York Times bestseller list the first week out. And there was not a doubt in his mind. And his book came out, and he was released through a traditional publishing house. The book released, and it sold well under a thousand copies. Mm. We were talking like only a couple of hundred copies. He was so incredibly disappointed. But what we focused on when he came to me after this release, he was like, okay, I need to revamp things. I need to look at my strategy a little different. It wasn't about 
looking at this as a failure, this was a learning experience mm -hmm. and going, okay, this isn't just a limited short time frame that I'm looking at. I need to look at this for the next year or the next two years. After that, we got really focused on who his ideal reader was, where they were hanging out, and we just doubled down where we spent our time. And two years later, when he released his next book, he was on the bestseller list for over eight weeks. Wow. And that first book picked up momentum as well. Right. And it continued to sell. If this author had looked at this book as a failure, just because it didn't sell right out of the gate, he would have been missing out on those sales that came long term for his next book. And for his next books, he released five books after that. So it's not about just looking at this limited time frame. It's a marathon that we need to view our marketing as. And especially if you're just starting out and this is your first book. Yes. It is going to take time to build your audience and to see those sales for the vast majority of us. We need to remember, too, that books take a while to consume. Mm -hmm. It's not a movie. It's not a TV show. It's something where we are spending time concentrating on something. And sometimes it takes a while to read books. It takes a while to get to that book. It's not just looking at this as I only have a certain time frame in order to actually see sales. You're going to be seeing sales many, many years into the future. So if the idea of thinking beyond your impending release is overwhelming to you, like you mentioned, having that strategic plan outlined in advance is helpful. And you have some resources that can help authors with this. Absolutely. And it's thinking about how can I plan this out in smaller chunks? Mm -hmm. How can I look at this in two or three month chunks as opposed to the next 24 months? Right. And we have many free resources. We have the book marketing blueprint. We have what can I post before I publish? We mm -hmm. have so many different free resources that we'll link in the show notes that help you make these plans and help you to outline things in these smaller chunks so that you can continue to promote your books and you can continue to grow and you can see the growth in a more long-term trajectory rather than just within a few months within the release. And like we've said before, we're all in different places mm -hmm. and it's never too late to start. So wherever you're at, just look at the next thing in front of you. If that's your release, then focus on that and just think about this stuff. Have this in the back of your mind for the long term. And remembering that you do not have to do all of your marketing strategies around the release, spread them out, mm -hmm. even make a list of different ideas that you want to try. And then you can tap into that list as you move throughout the year or two that you can put those ideas to work. So to get a list of those resources we mentioned, head on over to jendapaula.com. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.